Hey guys, Rob from Georgia here with you, and uh, we are here to put the wrap on a three part video. My sort of this is why I have gone and chosen to be region free, and uh, I will continue to be region free and grow in that area. Um, I have no interest to make the transition to 4K. Um, I mean, I got a 4K TV, but I mean, if I invest money in another Blu-ray player, it'll be another region-free player. Uh, it's just, that's just where I'm at. Um, but anyways, so region-free. I've said a lot already, just reasons why. Um, but if you're coming into this video for the first time, you haven't seen part one and two, uh, really it's just the ability to reach out and shop wherever you want to shop around the world. I mean, you know, I mean, you can't just get on and buy movies from Amazon UK or Amazon Italy or Amazon Germany. Uh, you can't do these things. Well, you could, but if you do and you get the movie, you ain't going to be able to play it in your player because everything's region locked, as they say. Uh, but if you have a region free player, which you can get on Amazon, um, regular US Amazon, uh, there's some great Sony, uh, Sony makes some great region free players. And uh, which are you know can play movies from anywhere around the world, and so uh, it's great. You know, it, it kind of revives that old sort of. I'm old enough to remember what it was like going into video shops and renting VHS tapes, and you know, be able to scan the shelves. And uh, pretty soon, the FYEs of our world. I mean, even the red boxes probably eventually they may. I hope not. It seems weird to think that they'll dry up in light of the you know vinyl coming back in. It just seems like physical media refuses to die. And so we gotta hang on to that. But anyway, so this video, I'm gonna go from number 10 down to number one. These are the movies that are probably at the top of the heap in terms of why, uh, or I, why I love being region free, because I can get these things. And uh, so anyways, as my backdrop, this is number 10 actually. And so let's start with number 10, Creep Show. Before Creepshow had a decent release here, I found it on the UK, and uh, it was the uh, it was the only one. I, or I mean, it actually has a commentary track with both uh, both uh, George Romero and Tom Savani, and uh, it's a, I believe this one's a two disc or uh, one disc has a whole bunch of special features and stuff, and uh, the first disc of course has a commentary track, but. Uh, what a great set screen. I mean, you know, the first time I put this thing in and saw this, I'm like, oh man, this is why I'm region free. It's awesome. It is awesome. So number uh, number 10, Creep Show. Yeah. Number nine and eight really go together, but it is uh, probably early in my region free purchasing, um, maybe in the first order or two. I grabbed both of these uh, from Arrow, and uh, of course we're talking demons, two and demons, and uh, you know some uh, Lamberto Bava, uh, Dario Argento produced, and uh, just awesome Italian horror. I, I maybe Italian horror at its best. Um, it, it is these two movies, um, man, and of course alternative artwork. The original artwork, uh, if I can show you real quick, um, you know, if you want to turn the covers around, uh, you can see how, you know, you can just flip the cover around and get the original if that's what you want. Um, and, you know, generally when you buy from Arrow or any other, a lot of other companies, you get books and whatnot. Um, but yeah, Demons 1 and 2. At the time, I really, I, well, yeah, I think you could get them here, but uh, not like this. I mean, this is uh, this is pretty awesome. So, Demons 2, Demons. So that brings us down to number seven. And uh, yeah, a nice arrow copy of Zombie Flesh Eaters. Uh, of course, we know it as just zombie, right? Um, Lucio Fulci's uh, epic masterpiece of uh, zombie horror. And I uh, love how it goes back to the voodoo roots. Um, it's, it's some old school stuff. Um, but, uh, you know, there's the disc. Alternative artwork again on the inside. And uh, it's just good, good stuff. 
Um, but uh, uh, Blue Underground just put out maybe what might be the definitive zombie release, and you buy it here domestically, so you don't have to, you know, shop out of the country for that one. Zombie Flesh Eaters. Uh, number uh, six, the Hellraiser box. This isn't. Uh, this is just the first three films, but uh, it was so affordable. Again, another arrow. Uh, it was so affordable. I can't remember what this was for me. Uh, 20, 24 pounds or something. I don't think it was that much, really. Um, but of course, uh, the three films: Hellraiser, Hellbound, and Hellraiser Three. And uh, again, just uh, fully loaded Leviathan. That huge documentary is on here, um, among a whole lot of other things. Commentary track. In fact, Clyde Barker's commentary track on the first um, Hellraiser is just—it's freaking awesome. It's one of the better commentary tracks I've heard. And uh, so it's just nice. The box, nice, heavy, sturdy. I mean, nice. It's just um, nice. I mean, yeah. So. The Hellraiser mini box, I guess, since it's not the entire franchise. First three, first three films. Uh, number five is really special. This one came right from Germany. You might be able to see it from uh, your vantage point right now, but uh, this release, there was no release at all in this country when I ordered this and I got I was I found out about this because I was checking out one of Mooch's videos one of his top 10 that he used to do back in the day and somebody had chimed in on something and out of that conversation came hey did you know that Germany's putting out a uh, extra release extra number five from Germany and uh, so I jumped on that thing and really it was not expensive at all and uh, I'll just open this real quick just to kind of give you guys an idea. Uh, disc one, disc two, disc three, disc four, and the soundtrack to the film. Um, so, and book, uh, book in there. And yes, there's an English track. You can hear this thing in English. Um, so, from Platinum Cult Edition, from Germany, of course, everything on the back, everything's in German, of course, but I mean, there's an English track and I have already watched it. Um, but yeah, fully loaded, and it was not expensive at all. Uh, not like you would think. Uh, so that brings us down into number four. What an epic, epic release this is. Lucio Fulci's Arrow release of City of the Living Dead. And uh, man, this is uh, an epic book in here. Uh, of course, uh, there's the, uh, and I'm, I'm sure there's all alternative artwork uh, in there, more stuff inside. Uh, gee, man, th this movie is uh, part of his Gates of Hell trilogy, or as some call it, Fulci's Lovecraft trilogy. Um, but this was, uh, and I reviewed this uh, this release, not the film per se, but the release of Body Bags during Theme Week. Um, I may have yeah, I think it was a Theme Week, but anyways, City of the Living Dead, number four, Lucio Fulci. What an epic, epic release that was. Now, man, Amazon UK, uh, Arrow put out back, what, you, can, you imagine there was a day when you really you couldn't find Phantasm at all. I mean, I found a VHS copy from a Goodwill uh, and that was what I kind of lived on for a bit, but then Arrow came out with what I think, I mean, I mean, is the definitive uh, box of the entire franchise, including Ravager, the last film, the only one not directed by uh, Don Coscarelli. Uh, and I'm not gonna, I mean, well, I'll open it up enough just to let you get it. There's a book in there, the ball in there, all the movies are in there, uh, tons of documentaries, commentaries. Uh, of course, you know, you can put the ball together and everything, but um, I apologize for not setting up a, a more fancier display, but uh, this, uh, man, and I think you can still possibly get this um, on Amazon UK. I think, unlike the Wellgo USA that put out the box for the American release, uh, that's I'm pretty sure that's out of print. That went out of print fast. But the Arrow box is still hanging around, I'm pretty sure. Um, at least last time I checked. Uh, let's see, and that franchise, of course, spans from 1979 to 2016. And uh, what, a, what an awesome, awesome release. 
Um, okay, number two. One of the main reasons why I got into this thing called Region Free, and it was a film that had no U.S. release at the time, but uh, 88 Films had put it out, and uh, it is, of course, Joe D'Amato's Anthropophagus. And uh, this was one of those movies that I rented as a kid on VHS from the video stores, and it's just it's always in the back of my mind, and I always wondered, will I ever, ever own a copy of this movie? And, uh, well, when I saw it, uh, 88 had uh, put it out, this was, like, this was like the trigger moment for me to just go ahead and go region free and get this thing. Now, I think, uh, I may be wrong, but, you know, there's, I think Snaps maybe, or maybe it's someone else, um, actually has put out Anthropophagus uh, domestically here. So you don't need to be region free to actually get a good, decent copy of it now. But uh, at the time, at the time I got it, Arrow was where to get it, and you had to be region free. And uh, I actually reviewed this on Body Bags as well. Um, epic, epic, epic. Number one reason, or the yeah, the number one reason I am region free, and the one and the film that takes my number one spot for a reason. The film itself may not do much for you, although it ought to. Uh, it is uh, Howard Hawks. Uh, uh, actually, Christian Nyby directed, Howard Hawks produced, 1951. We're talking about The Thing from Another World, the UK release of this. And uh, why is this special? I mean, this just got a Blu-ray release here domestically. Uh, before that, you could get it on DVD. Uh, I, mean, I mean, what's special about this? I'll, I'll give you one, re one, one reason why this is special. And better actually, than the Blu-ray release that just came out. Although I got the Blu-ray release, um, this has John Carpenter's commentary track on the film. This has like three cuts of the film. A cleaned up, actually a, an, an older, dirty version, or not version, well, I mean, it, it's not a cleaned up transfer of the film is what I'm getting at, that has John's commentary track on it. Then there is a nice cleaned up transfer of the film. And then there is an unauthorized color edition of this in uh, here as well. And so three copies plus John Carpenter's commentary. And if you didn't know, John Carpenter studied this film in film school. And, uh, and you know, it attributes to a lot of his, uh, well, why he's a director, a filmmaker, was this movie. Watching this movie as a kid and... Uh, Again, I mean, you know, you can be happy with the Blu-ray release you got over here or the DVD that you can pick up, but um, to listen to John Carpenter talk at great length about one of his most favorite films and Howard Hawks, who influenced him so much as a film, uh, as a director, um, and you can see some of the things that he'll do in his um, film The Thing from 1982, uh, a lot of things in terms of choreographing, staging, framing, how he does things, uh, he will get from Howard Hawks, he's that big of a fan. And uh, so, just having the commentary and being able to listen to John uh, talk through that. Now, last time I checked on Amazon UK, this is, uh, at least the, the exact release of what I got is out of print now. There is another one that has a similar cover, but it's only a one disc edition, and I do not think it has, I don't think it has the commentary from John on there. So, if you've never gotten that particular release, um, you're probably out of luck. Why they weren't able to get that and put it on the Blu-ray for the domestic release here, I'll never understand why, how these things work sometimes. But anyways, region free. Three videos, 25 movies, a lot of reasons why I love being region free and always will love being region free. And we'll just sign off there as always. Go Bills.